Technical difficulties. It's kind of annoying. It is what it is. All right, we're back this week. Unfortunately, Zoom is crapshoot, and Father's Day, I guess, must be a lot of activity. So it's gonna be kind of quick. Just gonna wing it on my own, and hopefully, we get something out of it. Let's go. So I'm gonna drop down to my back. Focus on a few breaths here. We're gonna start with just the belly. Feeling the belly rise. I'm gonna try not to expand my chest as I inhale. When I feel, when I feel my belly full, my chest wants to re expand, I'm gonna release. Let the belly fall down and up. And inhale again. Focusing on the belly. Sending the air down to the bottom. And expanding up. And then release. We'll do one more. Belly. Try to keep the ribs in. Don't let them expand. See how much air you can bring in. And release. Now we'll do the opposite. We'll do just the chest. So we'll leave the belly loose. Let it fall. And try to expand just the chest. So upper body expands. And release. Again, challenging yourself to inhale just through the ribs. Expand them as much as possible as you inhale in. And release. And one more time, chest. And release. Now we'll do both, but we'll go belly first. Again, filling the belly up as much as you can. And now we'll inhale into the chest. And we'll release chest. And belly. Belly, then chest. Taking your time to fill it up. Expanding. Expanding into the chest. And then releasing chest. Belly. And one more, bottom to the top. And releasing top to bottom. Okay, I bring my knees into my chest, making a little ball. And we'll just rock front to back. I'm gonna pull the knees to my right side, opening the left arm out. Coming back to center for say three rocks. One, two, and three. Crossing the body to the left side, right arm opens. Coming back to the front. One, two, three. Over to the right with the knees, left arm opens, maybe the legs extend. And there's something to think about here is pointing your hip down. So if I just relax here, my hip kind of crunches into my oblique. I get like a little crunch here. So I'm going to expand that, rolling my hip away. I'm trying to keep my spine in line for now. Tuck back to center and I'll rock. One, two, three. Over to my left, right arm opens. Again, I'm bringing awareness to my hip and bottom rib gap. So I'm here, you see this little crunch, and I'm gonna just point my hip away. You can extend the legs like before, and we'll come back to center. And let's rock around the clock, rotational rocking. So as my hips come up, a little shimmy, and a little shimmy. Say two around. And reverse. So, hips, shoulders, hips, shoulders. And you're using the rock to turn. And then we'll rock up to sit. We'll scoot back for you guys, legs long. Inhale the arms up, exhale, fold forward. Inhale, float up. Exhale, fold forward. 
Inhale, float up. Exhale, floating down. Coming up to sit. Swing my legs behind, tabletop. We'll go through a little cat-cow action here. I'm rounding the spine as I exhale. Inhale, drop the belly, lift the chest. As I lift the chest, my shoulders are going to pull back and down. And exhale. Inhale, chest forward, shoulders back. Popping that bottom. And round. One more. And round. I'm going to scoop my knees down, hips come down, swinging my legs back to the front. And we'll do three forward folds. Inhaling up, exhale down, inhale up, exhale down, last one, and down, coming up to sit, swinging my legs the other direction, coming back to that cat cow, fixing my shorts, press, exhale round, inhale, chest forward, pulling forward, and exhale around for two and three. Inhale, exhale. Same thing. I'm going to scoop my knees to the side. Hip comes down, coming back to the front. Let's just swing through that for fun. I'm going to go back to the back and to the front. So how I achieve that when my legs are going to my right, I'm going to place my left hand down, getting onto that one hip, and tuck, and under. Hand, hip, feet. Hand, hip, feet. As you get momentum, you can go cheek to cheek. Otherwise, I'm going hips, feet. Hip, knees, and back. If you need a little extra, like when we do our tripod transition or sit out, I can step up with the way my legs are going to go. That allows me to slide and swing. Swinging through, I wrap and plant and come up. So let's do that just to dissect it. Tuck, plant, up. Plant, swing. Bottom leg wraps, step and up. This helps me build momentum to carry me through. And I'm windshield wipering my knee up, sit, and I can also push off my feet, off my hands. Pull, tuck, boom. Now let's carry it through. Let's carry it through all the way around as much as we can. If you need a little extra push along the way, that's fine but I'm going to try to swing my legs all the way around. So step up, swing hip to hip, and up. Step up, swing hip to hip, and up. What's fun here, as you step up and swing, I can engage my toes at the back end. Here we go. So as my feet come around, step, swing, toes, pivot. Step. Swing, toes, pivot. And now let's get even crazier. Fix your pants, of course. So now let's get crazier. We're going to try, instead of going here to here, let's add another half. So I'm going to go side through the back to the front as a goal. Let's see what happens. Step up, swing through. Break dance in. I'm going to reset to the back, go the opposite direction. So, one and a half, and reset. That was fun, let's do one more around. One, two, reset, and one and a half, and reset. Let's go for two, two rotations, one direction, and then we'll move on. Each side, of course. Each side, of course. 
So I'm not stopping until I've done two rotations. Stepping up. One, two. Good. Other side. One, two. And because it's always fun and you're like, let's do another. I'm just getting the hang of it. Let's try it again. One rotation, two rotations. One, two. Building speed and coordination to carry through and keep going. I mean, you're using a little bit of remaining momentum to step up and keep going. Fun times. So now we'll go a little more traditional. Let's do a little inchworm, knees, chest, chin, down dog to forward fold. So I'm already in my tabletop. I'm gonna hug my ribs with my elbows, chin and chest, inchworm slide, baby cobra, toes tucked, downward facing dog. Let's just work that. Tippy toes, bend the knees, knees, chest, chin, slide, peel, tuck it up. Tippy toes, knees, chest, chin, slide, back, up, downward facing, tabletop, knees, chest, chin, cobra, pressing up, downward facing. No big deal. Down, down. So if you think of like the side of a train, as the tracks move, trying to iron out a little bit of the pauses, or if you are feeling it, feel free to stop. Tabletop, knees, chest, chin. Ooh, this feels good, I'm gonna hang out. Slide through, shoulders back and down. Press up, little child's pose. And downward facing. You know, I'm gonna walk my feet to my hands, come into my forward fold. Inhale, flat back, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. And we'll do three inhales. As I roll up, inhale one. Exhale, folding down. Halfway. Exhale. Inhale, amp number two. Three. roll up to stand good so we're up we're standing let's just go a little hop I'm gonna go one foot other foot heel and toe boom 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 so you guys can see here just elevating opposites boom and up top we're gonna add a little bit more bounce And now we'll start to pick up the feet so it's like ba 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 And we'll settle it down. Good. Let's work a pendulum step. So what does that mean? We're going to basically replace, let's go backwards first as an evasion technique. So if my opponent or a person is to my left, I'm going to evade to the back, so I'm going to replace and step. And I come back, replace and step. Like those uh, stress balls that on a desk, they hit. Boom, 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 boom. That is the idea here. Working our pendulum step. So like, this is my front foot. Boom, boom. So if someone's trying to hit me here, I'm now further and I can replace and come right back to where I was to fire back. But one, two, one, two, let's do three more.
So let's have a little fun with it and exaggerate the pendulum. For me personally, in terms of if I'm in an altercation, I don't want to necessarily lean. I'd rather be more upright when I pendulum. If someone's going for my gut, sure, I'll sway. But if I'm in an altercation, I kind of want to glide through and be ready to go. So here's where the fun part is. We're now going to swing more like a pendulum just to activate our obliques, our core, and fun time. So we'll go one, two, boom, boom, so now I'm using my body weight shift to pick up the foot and replace it. So let's see if we're going back, shift, up, shift, up, so a little hop. We can start to pick up the leg. We can come in and out. In and out. In and out. In and out. The reason I don't like this is if you think, say you're sparring with your friends, you're having fun, messing about, and you think they're coming for your, your abdomen and you pendulum, your head is still in range for another second. So if they're going for your head, you might get clipped on the way out. Where if I'm here, I'm already moving away. I'm already moving in. One, two, one, two. But for quick, quick, So if I'm using momentum, whoop, whoop, good. So if you add a little more of that upper body sway, that pendulum can become a stop hit. So if someone's approaching you and they're at a distance and they come in, boom, you jam the hip, jam the knee, boom, stiff leg. In that case, I can sway to get my head further away to stop them. And we can alternate that one way than the other. Realistically, you're probably not going stop, hit, stop, hit. But for fun, exercise, and coordination, let's give it a shot. So I raise up, jam. Stop, hit, reset, stop it to the rear. One, two, Three, four. One, two, three, four. Here we are on the low end. One, reset. That's two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. So realistically, if you'd stop kick behind you, you should probably turn to face them. Again, this is just more for now, for the coordination of it, for thinking about turning your hips, timing, and so forth. So we'll add a little more exaggeration to it. We'll try to pick up the kick a little bit higher. So now we'll just use this replacement to pick up the kick to a higher level. So I'm gonna go for waist and back. Boom, and back. I'm gonna flex through the foot, drive the heel. And I'll aim lower for angle two. And if you start to feel it, maybe go a little higher. And you'll see as you sway, the leg comes up. The more I go down, the leg comes higher. Two more. One, two. Other side. Again, I'm going to start to increase, replace leg lifts. For now, I'm not kicking, I'm just lifting. The idea, again, is someone's running into it. 
someone's approaching, boom. I'm more focused on switching and staying balanced. One, two, three, four, five. And we're back, boom. All right. So this time let's add that kick. So we're gonna chamber as we pendulum and then kick with the top leg. So foot comes in, chamber, kick. Have fun. It doesn't have to be high. It's more about coordinating it right now than height or power driving through. But here's the idea of slow motion. Foot comes in. As I'm penduling, my leg comes up and I drive. Realistically, if I'm gonna sidekick, like an old Bruce Lee movie, this momentum carries through into the target. So I'm using this to drive through, but for our purposes in limited space training in homes, our basements, we're gonna relatively stay in place. So I have three tiles here. I'm basically at the first connection, kick and back, kick and back, chamber, kick and back. So I want to time it so everything goes Boom. and back, Boom. and back. Boom. A lot of people have different preferences for what you do with your hands. You can go arm out for balance, you can say arm up. Some people throw it back. I just generally like to keep my hands up. So if I think elbow to my hip, my hands at least near my chin to cover if things go wrong. And let's make a habit. The rear hand will touch our cheekbone. And one more. Good. Now we move to the other side. You're gonna have a favorite side, a better side, a more dominant side. It's just the nature of the beast. So again, the same idea. One, as I sway, that picks up my foot and I kick. Again, rear hand's gonna touch my cheek. I'm gonna try to keep my front hand up Facing opponents, boom. One, boom. Up. Two, three, four. And everything goes on. And back, ready to go. So energy kick, energy back. Hand up. Doesn't always have to be pretty. It could be low. It could be to the shin. It could be to the ankle. But the idea with this, kicking and returning. Kicking and returning. Going in, bop, and evading. Let's move down to the floor. Put a little cool down. We'll come back to our cat cow position. Tabletop. Toes engaged. Pressing down to round the back. Inhale to our cow. Belly drops, spinal articulations. And let's add a child's pose at the end of this. So, so a three move combination. Cat, inhale cow, exhale, tuck the toes underneath and flatten the feet. And come down and now I'm gonna round up inhale exhale one two three one two three one two three 
One more. So I'm gonna exaggerate round, squeezing my hips forward, rounding my back. Two, chest comes forward, shoulder blades back and down. And three, sending it back. Let's thread the needle. So from my child's pose, right arm's gonna reach up for a twist, and then I'm gonna send it through between my chest and the floor, right ear to the floor, looking under my left armpit. Let's do that three times so we're not just sitting here. Then inhale, reach up. Exhale down. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, reach through. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, reach through. Good, coming back to the front. Opposite side. So I'm gonna reach and slide the left arm through between the chest and the floor. Coming back to that reach and sliding it through for one and sliding it through for two. Inhale for three. Exhale, slide it through. Good, reaching up, coming up to my kneeling position. Let's swing the feet to the front and we'll come back to our rocking. So we'll rock front to back three times. One, two, three. Rotational rock, one timer out. Rock to the front, sitting up, and we'll rotational rock the other way. Returning from whence we came. And rocking up. We'll rock to our figure four, left knee down, right knee up, one. We'll switch, right knee down, left knee up, two. We'll do six, three, four, five, six. We're going to crisscross applesauce, cross it, one. Switching to cross. Two, switching across for three, switching across for four. Good. I'm going to rock up, uncross, left knee down, right knee up. And then I'm going to step over for a twist. Now I'm going to turn into that top knee, ring out the midsection. This is where that chest breathing comes in. As you constrict the stomach, you can only expand, say, through the chest. Or limited expansion through your abdomen. Good, coming back to front. I'm gonna to return to the direction, switching sides, right knee to the side, left knees up, and turn the left knee over it. Right hand wraps, proud chest, long spine, looking over my left shoulder, turning towards the top knee. If you're just chilling here and you like it, you can hook the elbow beyond the knee. I like to give the knee a little pull. I start to feel it more through my glutes. Good. And I'm going to unwind. And let's do a figure four rock up each side. One. Two. And bent sit. Both knees up. Inhaling up, we'll do two more of those. <sighs> Inhale. <sighs> Rocking. Inhale. <sighs> this time we'll go long sit, long legs. Drive, inhale up. Exhale, fold. Inhale up. All right, everyone, that is our class today. Uh, might be a little shorter than normal. And we had some technical issues with Zoom. Apparently everyone's probably using it and reporting audio problems. So take a little breather, take a little break, enjoy this. Or if you want, check out the other videos. Like and subscribe and all that crap. Never mind.